What I'm going to do first of all is take people using the traditional navigating paradigm, which is the mouse. I'm going to take them down to Fremont, California, which is where Logitech is headquartered. So let's do this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom down with the mouse scroll wheel. I should zoom the right way, of course, and I'm zooming in. And as I do that, I've, I've gone down and now I've landed in Denver, the middle of the country. So I'm going to move across because clearly I need to be in Fremont. I can see Fremont at this point in time. I'm zooming down. I'm moving Fremont always into the center of the screen. I then have to find Logitech, which I have actually lost a little bit, but I've keyed on right now. And I see it over there because I put the Logitech logo over the building in order to make sure I could actually find Logitech. Now at this point, what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to spin it around so the building is right in the middle, which I use again, the scroll wheel and the control keyboard key. And then I've got the Logitech building absolutely right in the middle. And that's typically how you would navigate in Google Earth if you haven't got a Space Navigator from 3D Connection. So what I'm going to do is take the Space Navigator in my hand here, in my left hand. And again, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do exactly what I did with the mouse, except I'm going to do it in a continuous way. And you'll enjoy this continuous motion, this smooth motion. I'm going to move down. I'm pushing down on the cap. I'm moving a little bit to the left, so I'm pushing the cap a little bit to the left. I see San Jose, San Francisco, so I know I'm in between both of those places. I see Fremont. So I'm moving down and I'm moving up a little bit because I know I'm a little bit north of Fremont, sort of north uh, west of Fremont. And then I see the Logitech logo and I'm moving in just with the smoothness and precision that you just can't imagine. And then experience is just perfect. And I bring the Logitech buildings right into the center of my screen. And that is navigation at a very simple level, panning and zooming with the Space Navigator device. But it doesn't stop there because it opens up a whole new world of possibilities with Google Earth. So let's keep going and let's go into some of these possibilities. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to bring you to um, a place that I used to work in, in fact, which is Logitech in Switzerland. I worked there many, many years ago. And I'm going to take you there by going via London Heathrow, which uh, some of you may do if you, if you actually fly in the, in the real world. And it's a terrible place to go to Heathrow if you have to fly through it, but some of us have to do it. So we're going to, again, we just panned up, pulled the cap up, Moved across to the right because I know that Heathrow is over on the east of, uh, certainly on the east of San Francisco. And I'm going to zoom down here. The reason I'm zooming down here is just to give you an idea of the actual, the resolution of the images you can find on Google Earth. But we said we were going to Switzerland, so I don't want to hold anyone back from this, this great trip. So I'm going to Switzerland. Logitech is around uh, Lake Geneva, so that's the thing that I'm going to trigger off. And what you can see now is I'm doing something new here. I'm actually coming in from the north side. So I'm moving my cap, I'm spinning the cap around, so I'm moving left, so I come in from the north. So I just twist the cap to the left, turn it around, and then I'm going to come right in here into the Logitech building in Switzerland, which as you can see is right out in the countryside. A very pretty spot actually, but uh, right out in the countryside. But the thing we like doing as human beings when we're navigating around, when we're going around places ourselves, what we really like to do is we like to look around. So we don't just like going from place to place and looking at it from a narrow angle, we really like to look around. And so what we've got on our device as well is the ability to tilt, so we can tilt the view to actually be able to look around and see what's available and what's out there. As you can see, as I tilt my view around Logitech in Switzerland, I've got this great big lake and I've got this big mountain. So I'm interested and curious, so I'm going to move around. And at this point in time, the lake is Le Mano, so it's Lac Le Mans, which is the official name for Lake Geneva. And the mountain, I believe, is Mont Blanc, which is Europe's, Western Europe's highest mountain, in fact, at 4,800 meters, give or take. And you can see again, as I go into a mountain landscape, that the world becomes a 3D world. Suddenly I've got some 3D aspects to the world. So if I see that, they don't, unfortunately, have high resolution images of Mont Blanc right now, but if I move down to the Alps near Turin, where the Winter Olympics were held a couple of years ago, I can actually fly into this valley and I can sit down in this valley and then I can explore and turn around this valley. And this is just one of the great things that you can do with the Space Navigator. You just cannot possibly do with the mouse and a keyboard because we've integrated with Google a feature that's called the user mode, which means that I'm the, I'm the camera inside Google Earth and I move around and as I move around, it's my perspective that I see. And again, as I've said, the, the, the 3D aspect of, um, of the landscape basically, so in this case it was the Alps. What I'm going to do here as we go back to Logitech and Fremont, I'm actually going to take a quick fly through the Grand Canyon, which again, because I'm in this user-based mode, I can do in with the Space Navigator that I just can't possibly do with the mouse and the keyboard.